You're traveling somewhere out in a new city, taking in the sights, snapping photos, and things are great until you get back to your hotel room only to notice that your passport is missing or your camera is no longer there. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I wanna to help you travel smarter by showing you how to create your very own backpack security system so you can protect your valuables when you're traveling. Now let's go back to the moment where you realized things were missing out of your backpack. Let's rewind to that moment in time. But first, if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and let's get started. The first thing we need to realize is that pickpocketing is a crime of opportunity in most cases. Like a herd of gazelles on an African savanna, you were singled out as vulnerable prey. That was your first problem. The second is, once you've been targeted, your backpack was vulnerable to theft. The cheetah took off on the chase and you weren't able to dodge them because you didn't even realize you were being hunted. Creating your very own backpack security system comes in three different phases. The first is prevention, the second is deterrence, and the third is obfuscation. Beginning with prevention, you don't need to be fearful or always clutching your backpack or walk around so anxious that you can't enjoy the things that you're there to actually see. Like any respectable gazelle, it's important to remain as light as possible or just as heavy as needed. That means only pack what you need for the day. If your hotel has a safe, use it. You just need to be less vulnerable than the people around you. Pickpockets tend to go for the easiest targets, like cheetahs out on the hunt. They're looking for the slowest and easiest gazelles to catch. In a lot of countries, a photocopy of your passport works just as well as a physical passport if you need to show identification. Bringing your passport with you in places it's not needed makes it vulnerable to getting lost or stolen. Don't overstuff your backpack either, making it look like a juicy target. If you have an expensive or flashy watch, be careful where you wear it. A good place to find out what's appropriate wear is the hotel reception desk. They'll be able to tell you if the streets or neighborhoods you'll be in require more diligence, or if it's not a good place to bust out the expensive camera. Now, your focus? Your focus is also important. When you're traveling, your attention is bound to be diverted to many things, whether it's sights or conversation, but being mindful of your surroundings and your belongings will go a long way in not making you look like an easy mark. And that doesn't mean be anxious or fearful when you're traveling, like I said. Just be cognizant of the environment around you, and if something doesn't feel right, then go with your instinct. Prevention is important because, like I've said before, you don't need to outrun the lion, you just need to outrun the person next to you. But let's say an ambitious pickpocket does try to get into your backpack, what next? Well, how you organize your things inside of your backpack can make a huge difference. A few things you can do is choose a backpack that has a strong nylon exterior, or at least is made of thick polyester. Those fabrics are not easy to cut or slash through. I've reviewed a number of bags that are made of durable materials. I'll link to some of them in the description below. There are also specifically anti-theft backpacks like PackSafe that have steel mesh or are enhanced with slash proofing materials. They make for good bags, but at smaller sizes, since they tend to be heavier themselves and designed with security first in mind. The next simple but effective trick is to zip your backpack zippers up at the top rather than on the sides. Now I've made an entire video on the science of why this increases your backpack awareness, but in short, one major reason is also it makes it very difficult for a backpack thief to try to get into your stuff from the top. It's just a little bit more of an awkward angle and it's also less conspicuous for them. So if you're out in public, someone's probably gonna see them trying to reach into your backpack and it's gonna be more difficult for them. So they're probably gonna try to pick on somebody else. You can also use small zip ties, mini carabiners, or even lace your zip pulls through one another if they're big enough. Small locks are also an option, but aren't inconspicuous and can even signal to potential thieves you're really carrying something valuable. Personally, I would recommend going with something a little bit more under the radar. Now, how you pack also makes these zipper tricks more robust and more effective. You want to pack your heavier items lower on your back and the more valuable items deeper into your backpack closer to your body. If you've got a light jacket or sweater you travel with, having this on top rather than underneath your gear will add another layer plus give added protection from outside bumps. Another tip when it comes to protecting your valuables is to never check them when you get on a flight. You always want your valuables and your electronics in your backpack with you as a carry-on when you get on the plane. 
Generally speaking, your lithium ion batteries need to be brought with you as a carry-on, so you can use this as a legitimate excuse to not check your camera, tablet, or other valuables that can be stolen from checked luggage. Many years ago, I had a small camera stolen out of my checked luggage, and this is after I went to the airport, I went to the check-in desk, and they insisted after you know, weighing and looking at my backpack, my carry-on backpack, that I have to check in that small camera. And I wasn't sure, I wasn't thinking it was right, but I still did it anyway. And of course, when I got to my destination, I looked inside of my checked luggage and it was gone. It had been stolen. And still to this day, I think it's part of some organized crime effort or some scheme at that particular airport. But I learned a valuable lesson and that is never check in your valuables or your electronics. And if you have to, make sure that it's under special circumstances and that you take special precautions to make sure those items are protected and actually arrive where they're supposed to. Now to round out your backpack security system, here are a few more tips. Spread out any cash if you're carrying larger amounts throughout your backpack in addition to your pockets. Don't use any exterior pockets for valuables, but hiding a little bit of money rather than a single point of failure in a big wad is a better strategy. The reason being if someone does have a few seconds to get into your bag, at least they won't get all of your money in a quick grab. They're more likely to take whatever they can get in hand and make off before being discovered. Another thing you can hide in your backpack is an AirTag. Apple's Bluetooth tracker can help you find something if it gets lost or stolen if you have an iPhone. It might not help you recover everything, but if the thieves ditch your bag, you might be able to get it and some of your lesser valuable items back. Android users, you can try Tile, which gives you the same functionality but has a smaller user base. The last thing I recommend for your backpack security system is to think like a pilot. And what I mean by that is every time you pack your bag, make sure you pack it in the same way. That not only makes it easier for you to get in and out of your bag, so if you need to quickly grab, let's say, your camera or your wallet or whatever you need, you're going to know exactly where everything is and it's less time fumbling around a bag, which makes you less vulnerable, again, makes you more efficient, but also means that you're more likely to notice if something is missing. And an added bonus is you're less likely to forget to pack something if you pack your things the same way every single time. So there you have it. That's how to create your own backpack security system. But I'm curious what tips you have when you're traveling. What are some of the things you do to stay safe? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. And I'll see you in the next video.